Welcome to Navigating the Night Sky Part 2. This presentation features the stars located above and around the equator. Part 1 featured the stars above the North Pole and Part 3 will feature the stars around the South Pole. So if you're sitting on top of the equator, this is what the night sky would look like and right above you would be this beautiful constellation here. If you have this star chart printed off, feel free to fill it in as we move along. The most famous constellation of all, right above your head, would be Orion, located right here. And Orion is fairly prominent because it has a few unique features that allow it to stand out in the night sky. And those features can be seen in this slightly enlarged view here, with Orion being right down in the lower right-hand corner. See this belt? That's a prominent belt. There's a little sword that hangs from the belt. And there are four bright stars surrounding the outside of Orion. Betelgeuse, Betelgeuse properly pronounced, but we give it the nickname Betelgeuse, and Rigel are two of the most famous stars and the brightest stars within Orion. Betelgeuse is a red-orange giant. Its radius is about 200 and some million kilometers, and if you put it in our solar system, it would extend out as far as Mars. So it's a huge, huge star, and it's located about 430 light years from Earth. Rigel is located further away, but it appears more brilliant because of the nature of the star. It's a brilliant white star. It's younger, much more luminous than Betelgeuse. We can use Orion to move to other constellations, and that's why the belt, pointed out earlier, is so important for us to, uh, to be able to identify and to see. If we follow the belt upwards, we end up at this V. See this V here? And that marks the base of Taurus, the bull. And if you were to continue from the belt up through Taurus, then you would end up at a grouping of stars up here that don't show up in this chart, but certainly in the night sky they appear. They are beautiful. They're known as the Pleiades. There are a cluster of seven, more than seven, but there are seven very prominent bluish-white stars in the Pleiades. And right down in here, there's another little cluster of star stars called the Hyades and they're located in the notch or the V of Taurus the Bull. Aldebaran is the brightest star in Taurus. It's a red giant, about 45 times bigger than our Sun, located at a distance of about 67 kilometers. Now Taurus extends all the way up here, but you'll see that it joins in with another constellation, Auriga, and it has a star in common. So this star here is shared with both Auriga and with Taurus. And that star is known as Alnath. 